Alright, alright, okay, so, um, back with another top 5 effects of video, you know, um, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna probably get straight into it. So, the first, like, three effects will be, um, from my, uh, recent edit, the solo leveling one, and, uh, I'm just going to be showing you the anime action lines, or whatever you guys want to call that, uh, eye glow, and, I guess, 3D text. Um, so, yeah, let's get straight into it. So the first one we're gonna be doing is the anime scan lines. Uh, they're quite cool effect. You could use it in two ways. I'll put them on part of the screen. I'm gonna show you the first way. So you wanna get a solid layer and then go fractal. You gotta find fractal noise. Just like this. Turn this up. Kinda, something like this, right? You can always mess with the settings, it just have to be perfect. Then go here, untick this, and stretch that shit out, stretch it out. And you can like, make this smaller, you know, depending on what you want. Um, I'll put it to around here, you know, frames. All right, so we've got this. Now what we wanna do is keyframe this. So offset and then go to the very end and then boom just keep going boom just like that now what we can do is also keyframe the evolution just to add some more movement to it and that's basically it now what you want to do is basically just cut out the middle of it by masking it and then double click M and then uh, invert and then just feather it and then you've got scan lines or whatever you guys want to call this thing anime lines uh, that's the first one and then the second one's just a it's pretty similar but it just the rolls are, um, reversed basically uh, yeah, I'll show you in a second and now what you want to do is go fract fractal again um, same thing, yeah, cool, just like this, uh, but basically you want to untick it, but we're going to do this one now, stretch this out, and then, just like that, same thing, but you're going down, or up, it doesn't really matter, I don't think, as fast as you want it, it doesn't have to be, like, my speed, you can do whatever you want, mess around with it. F evolution, you know, just mess with this as well. Looks pretty nice. Now this is the tricky part. So you want to comp it. So you can see here. Go inside the comp. Um, and then go these three lines. And then go 1080 on both. Just like this. And then... Called po you want to go polar coordinates and then just do that and now you've got your anime scan lines basically that, that that's it there now what you want to do you could go mask it here grow in the middle oh wait no you go out of this and then you want to zoom in Round up around your clip, right, and then just boom, invert, and that. If it's too small, you just drag it out, and then you got your thing here. You can add a glow to it, like deep glow. It's quite nice. You also, change your color and everything. Oh, shut up! So, that's the first two. Uh, well, that, that's just the first one. That's the first effect. Um, uh, second effect is, I guess, uh, eye glow. It's not that di difficult. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, now, what you want to do, you want to duplicate it. So, normally, you would have your clip in a comp. So, for this, so I'm just going to comp it. And then go in here. And then you want to go into the comp and duplicate it. You want to go in here and start masking your eye. There's a lots of ways you could do this. You could track it and everything, but 
it's not that difficult to it's, it's easy move but it's not really moving that much so yeah so now you want to go here you want to go uh, mask path and then just go to the very end and just double click this don't double click that double click yeah there you go and then just make it bigger so it fits the thing it doesn't have to be perfect And that pretty much tracks it, which is all you really need. And then now you just go deep glow. Pretty cool. And then what you want to do is just go out like that. Just mess with your settings. And then you got eye glow. It doesn't always look good. You can always mess with the settings. But yeah, that's just an easy uh, eye effect you could do. It's not always perfect, but you know, it, it doesn't really matter. Pretty easy, pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna use the same clip, but this is the third effect. Uh, pretty simple effect. Um, you could uh, use it in a lot of ways. Uh, I used it in a way, I'm gonna show you right now. I basically just tracked the um, character and kind of just made sure the main focus was him. So this is the use of um, CC Vignetti. I think that's what it is, yeah. And you could, yeah, that's basically what it is. And I guess what most people use it as, just obviously, they use it with a CC mainly, but you could, um, since this kind of zooms in, right, you want to kind of draw its focus in, so you just want to keyframe it and then just go in like this pretty easy effect nothing really you, you, you could just mess around with it it's not much you can really do with it but yeah it's quite a cool effect you know so yeah um, fourth effect uh, we're gonna do 3d text so I'm just gonna now we want to grab your text just like this um, choose your font write your name first actually probably Put your name in. Well, it's obviously a logsy. And then find the text you want. I'm just probably going to go lemon milk because that's just the main text that everyone uses. Something just easy like that. Cool. It doesn't really matter what size. Now you just basically um, hide it. And then um, you want to go another solid. And then go element. Boom. Ah. Uh, now what we can do is go custom layers, text, and then find your name, hide like that, and then just go straight to scene setup. Now once you're here, you want to press extrude, and now you got your text here, as you can see, in 3D. Now the first main part you want to do first, before you do anything, you want to go to here and press extreme so you got the best quality text um now what you want to do i normally settle for you can always just look around you don't have to copy exactly what i do these are the basic the basic things that they come with but i'm gonna do this one for the tutorials quite easy quite nice um yep so basically choose the color you want you can go here Find the color that they're using. Oh, this is actually a reflection I'm tweaking. Here's the color. I'm um, for this tutorial. I'm just gonna go straight black. And boom, turn this down. Quite nice. And then we're just gonna go here for environment. I'm just gonna go with this one. Quite easy. Nothing too hard about this. You could do a lot more, but since it's just a basic tutorial, I'm not going to do much. So now you go out of it. Uh, very important. Go render. Um, and then. Nope, my bad. Don't go render. Go output. Then go here. Turn all these settings to max and then turn this as well on. And then now you're gonna have the best looking text. Okay, cool. 
Now, what you want to do is go here, group one, particle look, multi object, tick this. Now hide all of that by pressing U, and then keyframe, shut up phone, keyframe all of this, and go to the very end, and then keyframe it again. Now, what you can do, first of all, actually, you want to probably make your text a bit bigger, because it might start off small, which is okay. Um, zoom it in a little bit. In fact, we could also keyframe this as well, which I'm going to do. So, yeah, now we got it keyframed. Now, first keyframe is we're going to zoom this in a bit like this, so it's just easy like that. Cool. Uh, now I'm going. You want to pull this bottom one. I think it's the display one, right? And then um, pull this out here as well. Just copy my settings. You can always tweak it. Alright, cool. Those are my settings. I'll go to the other side so you guys can get that as well. Pretty easy. As you can see, it doesn't look the best because obviously it's not um, graphed yet. I've got my flow thing, but just for this tutorial, I'm just going to um, do my actual graph thing. So, first, easy, easy, F9, and then go here, and then go value. You could actually just go speed graph, make sure they're all highlighted, and then just drag this over here, highlight the other side, drag it here. And we're actually missing one. <coughs> the Z coordinates. Make sure to redo it. Drag this on that side, drag on that side. Boom. Easy. Now what you can do so that's just that's already a pretty good cool text right but you can now also add some glow to it by duplicating this then putting it then going deep glow or whatever glow you like the most um i'm gonna change the color of this background so you can see it um i guess we'll just go maybe that looks disgusting oh, i guess we'll do this So you can just turn up your deep glow. Quite nice. That's a nice backdrop to it. Uh, the final and last effect will be um, a ghost zoom. It is quite overused, but it's a very nice effect that everyone should know. So I'm going to be showing you guys that. I don't know how well this is going to work, but yeah. I'm gonna actually add a. I'm gonna make a transition out of it because otherwise I don't know if it goes. It will look good. So I'll be back in a second. Easy. Pretty shit, but it doesn't really matter. Um. So what you wanna go into your comp, right? You wanna duplicate your clip. Uh, go scale, and then keyframe it, and then go to like, I guess here. Middle-ish, maybe over here, and then zoom into about 148 or something, 150, and then um, use this kind of graph. Pretty simple, pretty smooth graph, just like this. Now you want to go opacity and keyframe it as well around here. Make sure it's just before it, and boom. You can also add a uh, invert. Add the, a different color to it. Turn down opacity just a bit. And then got that. Quite cool. You can change the color of this if you don't like it. So you go CC tone. And then, uh, I guess turn that to white. And then you got this. Quite cool. 
but yeah that those are all the effects that i've got today um if you guys want to see a part three you know maybe consider subscribing and comment down below what you guys want to kind of see me um do next and yeah